Hey guys, that was starring Vulcan, also known as Muscle Marine here, with Hearts of Iron 4, together for victory. And you guys already probably, well, I just got this, so um, let's see what they did to, oh, the Dominion of Canada. Mm, mm. Conscription crisis against French Canadians. Recruitable population factor negative thirty percent. Hmm, interesting. Oh. oh, they're in the Great Depression too. Oh boy. So America and Canada are on par this time around because in the vanilla Hearts of Iron Four, Canada could just r literally rush freaking America and just annihilate them. But now, I don't think that's possible anymore, because from what we got here, no. We can either skewer the eagle, we can make a North American alliance, or we can join the common turn and just <laughs> be Russians, but you know, ah, let's not be Russians. Then we also have Poland over here with the Baltic Alliance. One can never have enough friends. They could draw closer to Britain. And of course they could seek accommodation with Germany. I can agree with this philosophy here though. Why should we fight when we are more alike than different? Ah, uh, philosophy. I probably just butchered the definition of the word, but who cares? Australia, Great Depression, <laughs> never another Gallipoli. I I I probably pronounced that wrong. I'm sorry for anybody who's Australian here. I'm sorry. The only way to ensure that Australia is not drawn into further costly wars through sentiment is to take complete control of our foreign policy. <sighs> We need no distant king and cannot afford ancient blood ties pulling us into conflicts that do not serve our interests. Interesting. Support Indonesian uprising. Indonesians versus the Dutch, my friend. Ah. Oh, somebody just messaged me. Well, now that the Indonesians have taken up arms against the Dutch, they will need more than words. The uprising needs guns and other equipment as well as full-throated diplomatic support. And I probably butchered all those words, but you know. Delegation in China. <laughs> the Chinese need a friend. Hmm, interesting. New Zealand, the tiny nation in the South Pacific, fought bravely in the Great War. Oh wait, I I shouldn't be reading this part. Sorry, I it's not fair that I didn't read anybody else's. But Bob Semple, <laughs> it's the Bob Semple. Oh my God. Good idea, New Zealand. Why shouldn't New Zealand have its own tank? Hmm? The Ministry of Works in Tabuka is developing a light tank armed with only machine guns. Even if we never get this beyond the prototype, the experience we will gain will be invaluable. I can get behind that philosophy. <laughs> Independent New Zealand. Well, Following in American footsteps right there. Ah, the Polynesian approach. <laughs> also, if I did anything wrong in this video, please leave something in the comments and correct me so I can fix it in the future. So, I'm gonna go with Canada because 
I've had a, some really good games as them, and I feel confident with this new update. And I already know which route I'm going on. Mm. Mm, the National Unity Party. Only 1% popularity. The daily change is zero. Let me go change that really quick. <laughs> well, I'm just gonna change it by um, using 150 of my political power. I'm already liking this. The Dominion of Canada. Let's see what we got in our national focus tree. Swastika clubs. I just found my tree right here. <laughs> mm. I actually like this. What else is in this update? Besides... Oh, a music controller! Ah! There we go. We are soldiers. Oof. Ooh, new songs. Ah, I'm liking you, Hearts of Iron. <laughs> bring forth the tanks! Yes, we're gonna bring forth the tanks. Ooh, a light tank. A Vickers 2 light tank. Mmm. Juicy. The Ross rifle. The cell rifle, no for Mark 1. Improved infantry. Oh my god. The Canadians have it all. This is, this is great. The Austin K5. Ooh. Ooh, a land ship. <laughs> oh. So, they have a tech tree similar to that of the United Kingdom. But not exact. I can get behind that. I'm gonna go for electronic engineering for, cause I want to go down the um, mechanical computing tree and um, yeah. Let's get an Austin K5. All right, so now an industry, basic machine tools. I think I'm gonna kind of go peaceful for this bit. Charles Folks, Thomas Victor Anderson, and John Montague. I'm going to have to put you on Spearhead. <laughs> I, I suck at attacking in this game, though, so... Don't expect some cunning battles on me anytime soon. I'm gonna put some Mountaineer squadrons on this dude, actually. That'd be really good, because it stacks with his ability. Should I promote him? Uh, I'll wait till later. Till I have him. Wait a second. Would promoting him make him lose his ability? All positive. Nope. Nope, you're keeping those traits, my boy. How many factories do we even have? I said we're gonna have to put some here. Some civvy facts. Some civvy facts. Some civvies. Some civvies. And the rest of military. Please excuse all the gar snuffling, by the way. 
it's actually not really intentional. It's that it's that season anyway. There's always the chance I could always push America with light tanks, you know. Trains. I actually don't know who I'm gonna go for first, but we could always ally with Mexico and just hmm, let's put the Canadian theater on the highest priority because you know. Oil. I'm gonna go with Venezuela because I don't want to trade with my potential enemy. Oh, I got a surplus of six, okay. Okay, we need to trade with, um... France, France. I, I like France. I also need to keep the USA out of, um... I don't know how to raise my political power yet, but where's Chuck Crate? <laughs> my man right there. Who's <laughs> He's gonna be really good. Should be able to spearhead this up to uh, I think a hundred. I don't have any oh, I can down demand these. You what about the USA? <laughs> I can't demand Alaska though. <laughs> okay, so let's turn up the speed a little bit. So this is pretty interesting so far. I'm getting called a nasty. Let's add some units, even though our production shit. Oh, excuse me, sorry. I, I need to stop. Subjects. Subjects. You know, I'm actually liking this uh, swastika clubs tree right here. It's time to go for an archondic expansion. Mmm, <laughs> refining. I really like what they did with the place. Oh, bork, bork, 
fork, dogs. Please excuse my dogs, my my fellow um, viewers. So far, you know. I should have gone down this tree first, but. Hold up, hold up, I need to read this. After breakdowns and negotiations with Westminster and an unprecedented 63 hour debate, the Canadian Parliament has overturned the British North America Act, instead enshrining the Canadian Constitution in laws untouchable by the British Parliament or monarchy. Although not an anti British move in its own right, it signals a move away from the Commonwealth policies of the old empire, while a natural step to take for any country wanting to ensure their future stability. It does nothing to alleviate the already tense state of global politics. From sea to sea, Canada shall be free. And that's my... That's my official instructions. <laughs> yeah, I just, I just pulled an Alice. Should I go swastika clubs or go... I'm gonna go roll the Suroy's commission. Gonna pick a research. Radio or mechanical? I'm I'm gonna have to go wait. Let's see what's cheaper. Yeah, the radio. Let's see what we got in our air force. Naval bombers. Okay. That sounds cool. I'm liking this new soundtrack though. I'm liking this right here, though. These continuous focuses. I think they'd be really good in the late game. <laughs> also, I have a really bad manpower problem. But, is this done? Oh, it's not. I'm just gonna hit the speed on this. Hold up. 
the Spanish Civil War, okay. So I'm just sitting here waiting. If this episode does end up an hour, I'm, I'm very sorry. But, it's what happens. Chuck Cray. The younger generation will always take up the torch on a fascist uprising. I'm, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not scared of a fascist uprising. <laughs> There's no one putting him in power. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now we got a Stuart Kangaroo, Ram Kangaroo, Churchill Kangaroo. I didn't know. I didn't know we could pull in Australia. <laughs> oh my God, is that the Bofors from freaking Coh2? No, no, God, no, no, no. Picking it up anyway. Righteous. <laughs> That's a bad pun. A very bad pun. All right, so let's get uh. What's his name? <laughs> so, my one friend sent me a text message. I'm gonna keep this rolling while I check this text really quick. I don't, I don't mean to be a dick or anything, but I'm kind of recording that he decides to send me a text message, so it's like, eh. But, um, yeah. Oh, shit. Oh my. Rip nephew. 10 out of 10. Rip again. I'm gonna pause the recording. Well, actually, no need to. Nah, nah, I don't need to. Okay, where were we? Alright, so we're. <laughs> see what we're getting here. 167 people. Man, this tank production is horrible. Yeesh. I'm slowly becoming free. Yay. I'm free. I won't be coming free. Cryptologic bomb. Boom. Boom shakalaka. Let's see what we can add here. A Coopton of Industry. I like that.
Let's just get that. So our economy is doing pretty well. Build anything? Nope. We're still waiting on instructions. Mechanical department. Let's get radio detection. Let's assign a commander. of James D. Prentice on this because I feel like he's a good idea. I'm just going to put them in here. Well, actually, I could probably See what we're gonna do here. Well, let's just pause this. We could use some shipyards for convoy production in case we ever have to naval invade. I'm glad they revamped everything in here. Let's get um, some field hospitals for our troops. of army experience. <laughs> Marines. I think this is a good idea. Yep. Okay. Also, uh, I forgot what I was going to say. Oh, 
Oh, there we go. We can possibly be Unitary Canada now once we um become free. Now we have Adrian Archon, aka the Canadian Fewer, or Fewer, or something. Okay. Fascist. <laughs> I'm, I'm a fascist of the Allies. I can I didn't know that you could actually create new tanks and stuff. That's cool. Let's see what we can do here. Okay, we need to get a better ground armor. I think we should be be on the defensive right now. Because, you know, we're not ready for any war. Nowhere near ready for war. It is. I don't think it's worthy to get military police just yet. Let's pause the time really quick. You concentrate in history would be good. We could go for a Matilda. Oh, Canadian infantry got their own models now. That's cool. Oh, even their tanks. Oh, perfect. I think you'd make a good tank commander. aware of our manpower problem.
Wow, I've I've been way too silent. Wow. Yeah. This is what most of our Hearts of Iron 4 games are like. Zombies. <laughs> hey man, they're not zombies. They're 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 good SS divisions right there, my man. modern tank army before we need it. <laughs> so that we're prepared, of course. Yeah, we better get these machine guns. We got a lot of stuff down our throat now. So now we just gotta get it out of our throat. <sighs> that two inch mortar though. Mm. Oh no. We, we gotta get some better. Now we just wait to, um, you know, be free! Freer than the free American Empire. <sighs> okay, that's really good right there. Really hot. <sighs> so my Great Depression is... I think going and getting better. So I think. Where are 
unit to Air Canada now. What you in? Man, I don't know what this guy in, but is he is he still in the depression? Oh, he he's going for the Japanese route. Although Japan never attacks America in this game for some reason, it's like... <sighs> wow. I'm just gonna keep you guys at the ready, because we're about to blitzkrieg these Americans. Well, you know, probably not gonna blitzkrieg them, though. I don't know. But I'm gonna have to fight them in the future, because my, uh, path is set on it. Oh, I can support the blue shirts now. I, I better go do that now. Okay, now let's support the blue shirts. Alright, now we go here. Hmm. Land doctrine. Let's let's prepare our technology. Oh. Zog. So far, I'm liking what Paradox did with the game, though. It's making the whole Canada political tree actually fun. Instead of just, oh, you get the generic tree, screw you. I'm gonna go with support equipment because I, I'm gonna need it later in the war. Well, in a war. Not sure if I'm going to be in the war. So it's possible I can peacefully, you know take these from the United Kingdom without having the naval invade them, which makes my life ten times easier, because when I played as Canada in the previous, well, in vanilla, or with at least the Poland, United Poland or whatever, I couldn't, like, you know, naval invade because, oh, you don't have enough intel in this region, even though I had a... I had a couple ships there, I had some aircraft, and it's like, you need intel to go from here to here. Ha ha ha. I'm wondering why Paradox didn't just allow people just to move from here to here, because that's a pretty short little thing going on there. It's, it's, it's kind of just... Oh. Let's 
upgrade our guns, people. Support companies. Let's upgrade those. Production. We're gonna have to get some kit. To sacrifice some for the kit. Oh, we're also gonna have to build some uh, armor motorized. <laughs> wait, 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 what? Okay. The Arcondinator. <laughs> That's that's an inside joke from um, when I was playing multiplayer. But no, no. You know, I'm gonna help the British. Yes, Bullen, I will help you. They add some stuff to Mexico later on. Okay, a lot of stuff just happened and I just skipped straight through it and I'm sorry, but you know. You get billions of notifications. Vow to protect democracy. I'm, I'm, I just, I just want you to look at this for a second. <laughs> they really should have fixed it, but you know. Hopefully, Paradox, you know, does that in a later update. But that's kind of just. <laughs> I should have left the um, British. But you know what? Let's make America look like the bad guys. Italy in the war. Yep. Okay, so we're gonna send our armored divisions. Let's just cancel production of all these because we're gonna have to mobilize all our forces. <laughs> trash this order. I'd say trash this order. You guys go here. You guys go here. You guys go here. Well, it's up to. It is up to Canada to decide the fate of the war at this rate because either Germany's gonna just annihilate France and Poland and just annex all of Europe. Or, you know. Fifth. Well, where was I? Um. Oh yes. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to fight the heart of fascism with my own fascism. So it's. Eh. 
I'm not too fond of that, but hell, why not? <laughs> Let's convoy raid in here. Convoy raid. Convoy raid. Okay, that works. So we got a convoy raid. Set up. And now it is time for me to close off this episode because <sighs> we'll see you next time on next episode because I'm we need a stopping point for this episode anyway because this this would just trail on forever and ever and ever all the combat is going to happen next episode because why not make the next episode action packed because you know I <laughs> I just realized how bad I am at YouTubing <sighs> well time to keep trying